everyone. I'm going to be using Creative Place Paints. This is the Purple Lake, the Hooker's Green Dark, and these two are the feature colours. I'm also going to be using Ultramarine Deep, Titanium White, and combining the Emerald Green and the Cadmium Yellow Hue to create a much nicer and brighter kind of yellow green. All the paints are mixed equal parts with Floetrol and I've prepared the record by spraying it with some matte black spray paint. And on the back I have sealed up the hole with a bit of tape. I'm going to um, do a ribbon pour and uh, it's kind of like a dirty pour but I am going to layer the colors and so that I can squeeze the cup I have trimmed off the rim from the plastic cup so that I'm able to squeeze it to do the ribbon. I'm going to spritz some silicon oil into the colours. I've never actually spritzed it directly like that, but we'll see how it goes. So this is the uh, May Pouring Challenge. Uh, it is a monthly challenge that some other YouTube creators put together and they invite others to join in and I so love joining in. <laughs> um, so this is to do a, a ribbon pour painting with the green and the purple and up to three different colours of your choice. So that's the rules. So as you can see the paints here look really bright and vibrant and you know really kind of exciting. I do stumble along the way <laughs> um, and you'll see that. So but it's when you get frustrated that you have to take a moment, take a breath and regather your thoughts. So I'll leave you to the music as you watch the journey go by. I'll see you at the end.
So there we have it. Um, that was a <laughs> bit of a journey, experience, learning curve. Um, the beautiful vibrant colours that I chose initially have all become the muted mixed tones but you know that's something that was definitely the challenge for me um, I will be working on further things with like as you saw trying to do that row of hearts with the ribbons I'm going to keep working on that because I know that there's something in that for me so we'll just be working out how to do that and still getting that beautiful result. So a bit of a close up look at the May pouring challenge. Ribbon pour with purple and green and up to three other colours of your choice. All right, so now to set it aside and see how it dries. Ta-da! All right, so I am quite happy with how it dried. Um, it usually does dry that little bit darker, but that's when other certain features pop out. So quite happy with that. And I did a little extra with some leftovers that I had. So that'll be the next video, I hope. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And give me a thumbs up because that really does help. And I appreciate all of you and I love your comments. And I would love to see you again in the next video. Thanks, guys. Take care and be fabulous. Bye.